So Steven calls us and he's like, I found a swarm of bees. Do y'all want to catch them? He started sweeping them in and then you hear him. He's like, I'm getting stung, I'm getting stung. I was like, this is not working. I definitely thought that I was gonna be like swollen the next day. Right away I start looking up on YouTube. How do you catch a bee swarm? <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Florida, one of the strangest places you'll ever visit with some of the most extraordinary people you'll ever meet. These are the stories from your Florida neighbors. Just called up my buddy Chris and David and Sarah and I was just passing by this one car and there's a swarm on the back of it. And we're gonna try to catch the swarm and make our own hive. Let's go catch some bees. Woo! So Steven calls us and he's like, I found a swarm of bees. Do y'all wanna catch them? It's a swarm right there on the back of that car. I didn't have a bee suit or anything. I was just like, all right, I gotta just go in. I had these frog togs, it's like a rain suit and a trucker hat that had like a mesh thing around. So I was like, that should be good enough to prevent from getting stung. Steven gets his suit on. We all get in the car because that's probably the safest place. Roll up the windows. We had like a construction broom. We had a Rubbermaid, like, I don't know, box with a lid. Just kind of went in there and started brushing the swarm into the box. I feel like Steven was trying to stay really calm, keep all the chaos to a minimum. He's getting stung. Is he? Uh, David commits me to go in without gloves. I'm pretty sure I got stung like five times on my hands. You hear him, he's like, I'm getting stung, I'm getting stung. And so uh, I think at that point we got gloves. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I think we kind of had a little bit of an idea that we needed the queen, but with 8,000 bees like swarming all together, it's kind of hard to imagine like how you're going to pick out one specific bee. I was like, this is not working, but I got a ton in the box. I put it to the side and there was still like half the hive was still on the car. There's so many yeah. on him. And so I was like, I don't know if like, I'm supposed to get more of them or if this is enough. And so I actually went back into the hot, like the swarm and started brushing more into the box. And I probably got like, like basically the box was almost full. Like at that point I was like kind of discouraged cause I was like, I don't know what's like, if this is it, like, do we just leave like the rest of the swarm on the car? Like, do I keep this box or do we just like leave? Uh, right when I was like kind of having this moment of just like, I don't know what to do. This guy was just pulled up on the side of the road and he was just like, you need the queen, you need the queen. A man named John showed up kind of at the perfect time. And the guy, he like, he starts telling me that he's a beekeeper and he saw me on the side of the road sweeping in these bees and just <laughs> getting stung and he was like you're doing it all wrong but you got like we can do this like you got this it's kind of cool when you see like someone being in the perfect place at the right time just how that can be so helpful and just yeah thanking him for stepping out and being willing to help because he could very easily just like sat in his car and videotaped Steven getting stung by bees or something. But he's like, hey, like I wanna help. He just so happened to be a beekeeper and he had a bee transporting box in the back of his car. Like in the precise moment that we like needed one. He had nothing on, no gloves, like no face shield, nothing. For like 15 minutes, they literally just like scooped through the bees trying to find the queen. I have no idea like there's thousands of bees. How do you look for a queen? He actually made me be like way more confident and calm. And we located the queen, put her in just like a fast food plastic to go cup, placed it inside the uh, bee transporting box. And sure enough, they all just marched from the uh, rental car on the back and just into the box. And he actually, we got to locate the queen bee. They put it in a cup, she is in there. 
We have our bees in the box. Close that baby up. Thank you, John. We're going home to set up a bee box. Thank you, John, and thank you, God. So we just closed up the box, put it in the back of the truck, and brought it over here. So we've had them for a year now, and they seem like on the sunny days, they're just thriving, and you can audibly hear them in the air, and you can see them just like swarming on the outside of the hive. And so it's cool to see them establish themselves and kind of say, yeah, this is okay, we're happy here. And so we'll see once we're able to start harvesting honey. I think there is a community around beekeeping and like, Everyone, even the most master beekeepers are still learning and trading information with each other. I think that was kind of that, a perfect example of that, of him coming out and wanting to help other people that are at least trying. Yeah, I've been stung about 15 times. And it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>